Hey everybody, welcome back. Mike here with Nerdy Tech. Today we are going to be focusing on Hack the Box. We're going to do a walkthrough of the machine Fawn, which is part of tier zero of starting point. Now this machine is kind of nice. I would say it's a little bit of a step up from the previous machine, but still pretty easy. Enumeration is key. This box is really, really helpful to help kind of hone some of your end map skills. I don't want to spoil it for you, so let's just jump right into it. So here we are at starting point again, we are on tier zero and we're going to be doing fawn. So if we expand it, the first thing you want to do is make sure you are connected to hack the box. I am using pwn box. So if you click on starting point here, you can see right here, it's a starting point. You're looking for this green dot here. If I click that, you can see I am running pwn box. So we'll go ahead and open up a desktop right now. And if you're not familiar with Pwnbox, I believe I covered it a little bit more in Meow, in that walkthrough, I covered a little bit more of it. Let's go ahead and clear our screen here so we have kind of a blank canvas. Now, uh, in this, the next step, once we've got into Pwnbox or we've got VPN access, we're gonna go ahead and spawn the machine. While that's spawning, I'm gonna go back to my desktop and I'm going to just arrange it a little bit nicer. So I, I like, typically I like having a couple of screens. I know I could have I could split this terminal, uh, but for some reason I don't like doing that right now. So I'll kind of open up a couple and just kind of get those set up. So our box should be spun up by now. Let's go back and check it out. Okay, it's coming online right now. So in this box, as I said, enumeration is key. So the first thing we're going to want to do is make sure we do all of our scans. Don't underestimate that step. Don't skip past that step or don't you know do one scan and then just think you're good to go because oftentimes you will miss things. All right, so our system is online. We've got our IP right here. Let's go ahead and copy that to our clipboard and let's head over here. So I like to paste it into the bar just so I have it, even though paste usually works here. Let's go ahead and double check. Yeah, there we go. So we got that. Now, one of the things I like to do just to make my life easier is I like to do export IP equals and then paste that IP. So doing this will essentially create an environment variable called IP. So if I do echo dollar sign IP, that will actually recall that IP address. So I like to do that because then all of my scans, I can just use the IP variable and I don't have to memorize the IP. So that said, let's clear this out. Now let's do kind of my standard Nmap scan. I'm gonna do it a little different than I normally do because I wanna teach you guys something here. So I'm, I always do a dash V for verbose. Uh, I will do a dash N to disable DNS resolution. And um, you know what, let's just do that. So we're gonna do dollar sign IP since I already have that environment variable. If you don't like doing that, just put the IP address right here instead of dollar sign IP. So that looks good. Let's go ahead and run that scan. Okay, so we see here that TCP 21 is open and it's detecting it as FTP. Now, I purposely didn't run kind of my standard command because it would, it would allow us to see a little too much right now. So I wanna walk this through with you guys. So the first thing is we know we have a service here, but we wanna understand some more info about the service, specifically what version of FTP software is running here. That's important because we wanna add that to our notes so that maybe if there's a known exploit, we can take advantage of that service. So let's first do an up arrow and let's change our command. I'm going to add dash lowercase s capital V. So this will be version. So if I run that again, this will detect the version of software. In our case, we can see it is VS FTP D 3.0.3. .3. So we would definitely want to add that to our notes. Now, from here, we can go ahead and try to FTP into the system if we want to see if it allows anonymous access but I like using the nmap scripts. So my default command is actually very similar to this. Instead of doing version, I will typically do this. Maybe sometimes I'll do version with it. But what lowercase sc, what that option does is run all of the default nmap scripts. So just to show you what that looks like, you can actually view nmap scripts if you do locate, do asterisk dot nse, that's the extension of those files, and then do a grep and we'll say FTP. So this is basically showing you the FTP scripts within Nmap 
that will run. Uh, and actually, that's not entirely true. Not all of them will necessarily run whatever the default scripts are, uh, which I don't know off the top of my head which ones those are. But in our case, let's go ahead and let's rerun our command, and except this case, we're going to do dash sc. And if we wanted to, by the way, we could still do version. That's fine, too. So that's our command. Let's rerun that. And let's see, we got a lot of info here. So let's kind of expand this a little bit. Okay, so let's go up to the top. All right, so we saw the scripts were running. Uh, we see one of the FTP scripts running. Uh, let's see. FTP server status, logged in as FTP. And look at this, FTP-anon, anonymous FTP login allowed FTP code 230. And we actually see a file there called flag.txt, which is pretty interesting because that's what we're looking for to pass this box. So that's, that's what we want. So essentially this allows anonymous FTP login. So we're gonna do that. I'm gonna actually do it in this window here just so that you guys have this still that you can kind of refer to if you wanna look, look through that. So to FTP into a system anonymously, the way I like to do it, just type FTP, hit enter. From there, you can then type open and then specify the IP of the system you wanna to connect to. In this case, this is, again, yeah, it's right here. So let's go ahead and paste that in and hit enter. All right, so by default, the name that it's going to assume we want to log in as is root. That's not correct. We want to try uh, anonymous. So that typically will work if anonymous FTP is enabled. We're not going to specify an IP or a password here. Okay, and we got in. Now, for those of you that are wondering how did he know, you know, I know someone's out there like, well, he tried that ahead of time. I try this every time FTP is, is enabled. I always try the same combination, anonymous, no password. FTP, no password, admin, no password, different variations, but typically anonymous and no password or anonymous, anonymous, you can get lucky. Um, so we're in, we see that login successful right here. That is our FTP code 230, so we're good. Now from there, we can list the files inside of this directory, either through doing DIR, like on a Windows system, or we can do LS. In my case, I'll do LS. And we see that we do have only one file here, which is called flag.txt. So I'm gonna suspect that's probably the one we want. So let's go ahead to download that. When you're logged in via FTP, what you need to do is type get, and then the file name. So in our case, it'll be flag.txt. And we'll go ahead and hit enter. All right, so what we're looking for here is port command successful. Uh, we see that 32 bytes were received. Now we do want to check to make sure that that file is on our local system. And I wanna show you guys a trick here. Now, if I do LS from inside of this FTP session, that shows us the files on the actual FTP server. So it would be kind of a pain to have to exit this FTP session. Cause what if there was like 50 files here, right? Uh, I wouldn't necessarily wanna log out just to check the one file. So what you can do is if you put an exclamation mark, then your regular command for Linux, we'll do ls, it will execute on your local system outside of this FTP session. So if I hit enter, we actually see my desktop, we see flag.txt, we see some other files that I have here too. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna do exclamation mark cat flag.txt so we can read that. And there we go. We do have, our actual hash right here, or our flag rather, that is right here. You gotta be careful if you copy this whole thing, you don't wanna get the FTP prompt. And again, if we wanted to, we could just exit out and we could do the same thing. We can do ls cat flag.txt, hit enter. There we go, there's our flag. We have successfully passed this box. All right, so that's all I got for you guys today. I hope you found this useful. I'll see you in the next video. And make sure you subscribe on your way out.